Hi frugal friends, welcome to the YouTube channel is fire for me. My name's Kim and I'm here with your daily dose of frugality. We are currently reading the little book 365 Ways to Live Cheap by Trent Ham. We're in the groceries and supplies section and so far we've covered don't eat out as often, go grocery shopping once a week at most, eat before you go grocery shopping, Plan your meals using the grocery store flyer. Make a grocery list before you go. And today we're on get comfortable with cooking. One major challenge that keeps many people out of the kitchen is a fear of cooking. The easiest way to get comfortable with cooking is just to try it, starting with simple recipes. You don't have to match the latest amazing creation you saw on television. Just try beating some eggs in a dash of milk with a spoon and cooking it in a pan over medium heat, scraping the eggs away from the sides until it tastes right. With only 10 minutes, three eggs and a pinch of salt, you have a delicious meal for just 30 cents or so. When you start with simple recipes and do them over and over again, you start mastering the little techniques, and eventually the things that seemed impossible before may not seem so hard. Eventually they may even seem easy. The biggest step though is the first one. Get out there in your kitchen and try something. There's a YouTube channel called Epicurious that takes three different levels of chef and has them prepare the same dish. And I always thought that I was a decent cook until I watched that show. And then I realized that out of being a level one chef, a level two chef, or an expert chef, I'm definitely a level one chef. Uh, that show is really fun because it talks a little bit about some of the science behind cooking and how different techniques create different end products. And so it's really fun to see the three chefs do their own version of the same recipe and see why they turn out different ways. Uh, so if you're looking for a little cooking inspiration, Epicurious could be a fun place to start. Definitely, as with most things, the more you practice, the better you get, right? So let's get in our kitchens and let's do some practicing and some, some cooking. I would love to know if you have become a pretty good chef um, just through practice and through your own instruction. And also, if you're not a very good chef, that's fine too. I know that some people have, you know, a handful of recipes that they can make well and make regularly, and that's what they eat. And that's perfectly fine and wonderful too. So I will see you back here tomorrow for another daily dose of frugality. Thanks for tuning in.